Hey, welcome back to Ben Squared. In this video, we're gonna be learning about axis intercepts. Coming up. So let's look at what the intercepts represent. The x-intercept of a line is the x-coordinate of the point where the line cuts the x-axis. So that's my x-axis here running across horizontally. And my straight line, my linear equation, is cutting through at a point where the line cuts the x-axis is called the x-intercept. Likewise, the y-intercept of a line is the y-coordinate of the point where the line cuts the y-axis. So again, as this straight line cuts through now the y-axis, the y-coordinate of the point where the line cuts the y-axis is called the y-intercept. So let's have a look at an example. Find the x and y-intercepts of the line given. So we have our graph and we have this straight line running across and we want to find the x and y-intercepts. So let's find the coordinates for this point here, which is 6, 0. And the coordinates for this point here, which is 0, negative 4. So the line cuts the x-axis at 6, 0. So the x-intercept is 6. That's the point where it cuts the x-axis. And likewise, if we look at the y-intercept, the line cuts the y-axis at 0, negative 4. So the y-intercept is negative 4. Let's jump on to the last example. Draw the graph of the line with x-intercept negative 2 and y-intercept negative 3 and find the gradient of the line. So let's pop this on a grid. We've got our two points here and here. That's the point where we have the x-intercept at minus two. And this is a point where we have the y-intercept at negative three. So let's draw a straight line through and let's label the coordinates. So minus two comma zero and zero comma minus three. So the gradient then would be negative 3 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 2, which gives us a gradient of minus 3 over 2. So therefore we have a negative gradient of 3 halves. And note, since the line is downward sloping, we have a negative gradient, which is correct. Make sure you watch my video on how to work out the gradient using the gradient formula. I'll link that in the cards above, or you can watch it in the playlist. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and share this with a friend who you think would find it helpful. I'll see you in the next one.